Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tony. I'm Chris. I'm John. So this is the Game Misconduct <laughs> Podcast. Way far up there. Episode number 48. How's it going, boys? Good. Great. I can't count to 48. So. <laughs> 48 How many is that? 48 hours of destiny. Yes. That's Danny. Danny, were you in the chat the other day when mm-hmm. he's like, it's been out for 48 hours and I put 42 in it? Yeah. Oh, you you killing it, dog. He's uh, I think he's got all three characters. He said, no, he said he got a warlock that he leveled all the way. Or he got all the subclasses to get the achievement, and then he deleted it because he cannot stand warlocks. I'm surrounded by hunters right now, currently on the set of games. <laughs> uh, two to my left, uh, warlock to the right. Uh, actually, it'd be your left and right. But, uh, yeah. That's why I sit in the middle, so I don't have to do that. If you can't tell, it is Destiny Week. Mm-hmm. We're excited. We're tired. I'm worn down. <laughs> I played for 13 hours yesterday, nonstop. That's a lot. Uh, a couple breaks here and there. Chris came over. He played for six, I yeah, think, six or so. Six or, yeah. He's doing good. He's 15 already and uh, almost Very done nice. with the story. Have you finished the story? I have. Okay, good. Uh, so we're going to do a quick review of the game. Well, I wouldn't say quick. We'll probably break it down a little bit because uh, we were hardcore vanilla Destiny fans. Um, and then we're going to do my top ten Tuesday. And then we're going to finish off with the John News. Yeah. But uh, let's just keep the Destiny talk going right now because it's like everything we want. Yeah. We got uh, Kate on the table. He's a new addition, yeah. uh, including his box. Uh, John was – tell tell us about that experience at the, uh, at the GameStop. Apparently the guardians were out in full force, even in yeah. armor. <laughs> yeah, there, there was there was a guy in full armor, uh, which, I mean, I'm I've been to a couple of releases and people. I went to the Arkham Arkham Knight when I was telling you about, and there was people dressed up as Batman, people dressed up as Joker, Harley, things like that. So I was kind of used to it, but uh, I mean, I've I've seen people, I guess, cosplay as Destiny characters, but this guy took it to the max. Took it to the max. That's awesome, though. It was it was, it was really cool. Was I think. He- was he dressed as a character? He was dressed as a hunter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh cool. I feel like that would probably be the easiest one to dress as. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I mean, the other guys, I mean, the the warlocks have the elaborate, like, you know, all the different things. And then the titans, the titans have big have armor. Big the bond. Armor. Hunter, you just need a cape. Yep. Cape and helmet. And you're good to go. He had a cape, helmet, and he had a little scout rifle he's just carrying. That's the wrong gun. <laughs> I don't know. They're pretty good in this game. So I, 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 I do like scouts. I, I guess we can start breaking it down a little bit. Now, um, I played the beta <laughs> for like five seconds on a stream. Uh, and that was enough to be like, okay, I'll probably get sucked back into this. And then they're the ones who did the review for the podcast that we did. But now the game is out. I've probably sunk 12. I've probably sunk almost 20 hours into it. Um, beating the story. Um, 249 power. Not light anymore. Spoiler alert. Um, you find out in the first five minutes, so whatever. Um, but I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I just Wait realized why it is not light and power. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> spoilers! Yeah. Uh, what about you, John? How much have you put into it? Um. Well, we played uh, the first night it came out from probably about eight. Five hours, I feel. Like, you know, I, about, I can do this. So I can, probably about eight I can find out right now while you're talking. It's probably about eight to what each well, of 10 or 11. Been? No, it wasn't. I think we started playing earlier than that. It was probably like six. It was probably like six to about ten. So probably four or five hours the first day uh, it came out. And then... Uh, I, I put 23 hours into it. 23. Let's see what uh, good old Johnny has done. Did a lot last night. Did you? <laughs> uh, you have put in 15. So you're doing well for 15 Not hours, bad. buddy. You got another... I'm telling you, once you get to 20, it's a little bit harder to start raising that. Like I, yeah. I, I, I hit 20 at about nine o'clock yesterday in the morning, and then I played till eight o'clock at night. And I'm only like a 249. Yeah, so. you just have to get your armor. You got, it's all the armor, and the drops are all <laughs> for the longest time. It's yeah. killing me right now. Uh, let's see what Christopher's done here. We can go through the whole game as kind of crew right now. About what eight, nine, maybe. Oh, maybe I'm doing like a ranking here. I don't know if it counts the beta. Uh, of course, Salvador is sitting at the top. That's Danny Ferris with 71 hours. Nice. Holy. Three days. Hey, you got your money's worth. That's my, yeah. That's, it. that's always been my judge of whether or not I got my money's worth out of game. A dollar an hour. Else? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's true. Always, it's like, true. I'm, I'm definitely like, oh, going to yeah, hit that and money. some. Oh, yeah, dude. It's going to be uh, pennies by the time I'm done. Yeah, like, I got, I got 600 hours or... 
I got my money's worth out of PUBG. Oh, so. God. Same. Uh, Lauren, actually, uh, Danny's girlfriend, also part of the core clan. She's put 55 hours in. Um, John, 15, like I said. I'm 23. Landon's put in 14 hours. Nice. Which he's also been signed in under... Uh, Emily, so she's put in 14 hours as well. She hasn't played the game at all. Um, <laughs> Alan with 11 hours. Huh? So he's he's put some time in. Uh, Tyler, who's been on the show with 9 hours, and Chris with 7. Chris is doing seven. really good for 7 yeah. hours right now, being level 15. Well, yeah, because Tony ran me through the... Oh, yeah, dude, we were steamrolling the campaign yeah. yesterday. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Landon got off for like an hour. <clears throat> and we come back, and we're talking about what mission we're on. He's like... Oh wait, you guys are already that far? Like Atlanta was only like a couple missions off from it. Wow, so, uh, so what? You, what light level are you? You you're, you've put two power level. Tony. Power. Oh, it's, good. it's it's so <laughs> it's hard. It's kind of like when they it's, changed the switch over from it's, the. It's I don't even remember what it was called before. Uh, NX. NX. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think I think I'm two twenty two twenty somewhere around there. Okay, so you're getting there. I'm a hundred now. <laughs> <laughs> you're above a hundred though. At fifteen, you got to be above hundred yeah, at this point. I, don't even know. I feel bad because I'm, I'm, we're doing all the public events right now, trying to level him up. Pubs, pubs, and we pubs. keep hitting these one seventies, and he's, oh, yeah. he's getting one shot at here yeah. and there. But he holds his own. That's one thing about Chris. As soon as we started playing, very squishy. He was already out killing me, out headshotting me. He's like, boom, headshot, boom, headshot. He was even calling them all. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something about aiming mechanics in this game just fits right with, yeah. with sticks because i'm you know i'm used to mouse and keyboard and just flicking but this it's a different it's just it's a, totally different you but move your body with it yeah it's just right and uh and <laughs> i know landon will have a bone to pick about this but i also like the jump mechanics oh, and he hates he the jump hates really them. he was losing his mind he's like this fucking game <laughs> i can't jump well to be fair he's, i'm going to play titanfall <laughs> well he's playing <laughs> fair he's floating yeah so. He's, he's floating too. There is a there. <laughs> good hit reference. We're going to see that in a couple hours. Um, to be fair, I mean, like we played it for so long, and I've mastered the warlock jump. It's not easy. Uh, there's a there's a basic jump where you just kind of like a double jump to the glide, and then there's an accelerated jump where it's a tap tap, and then you got to control coming yeah. off. So you almost have to hit it three times. I don't know how the hunters works. You just it's just a double jump that we've played since double jumping is been okay. a thing since yeah. like what the Prince of Persia yeah. games. <laughs> so if he went yeah. over to Hunter, he'd probably have a little bit more of a fun time with the jumping mechanics. Yeah. I, I think he's enjoying the game. I'll be curious to see what he says maybe in the comments at some point when this video launches. Um, For sure. Because he did not play yeah, Destiny, not play one Destiny at one. all. So it's interesting to see what that you know, if there's new players to the franchise to see what they think. Yeah. Because this is their entry point. Because, mm. God, we suffered through some just weird stuff in the launch of the oh, first God. game. I would say as a big Destiny, vanilla Destiny fan, if this was my entry point, it would have been game over. I, I would have been even more obsessed than what I yeah. am right now. Yeah, they, they did a good job of uh, changing some things. Uh, what they... What I should have changed, you know. The what beginning. I would compare it to is when Diablo three first came out. Oh God! And then when they updated it. Mm -hmm. This is the updated Diablo three. Remember when Diablo? You know, especially on the yeah. PC. I never got to play it on the PC, luckily. But you would never get anything. No, you would have to put day. so much time mm -hmm. in that game. Yeah. And then uh, you would finally get one, and I mean, it was great for the marketplace. People were selling stuff for. Oh yeah, the auction stupid house. Stupid money. God, I forgot they took that out. But then they came out with the update. And it was just like legendaries would drop, 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 yeah. drop, drop. And uh, that's kind of, I wouldn't say they're dropping like crazy in Destiny 2, but it's so it's much better. And it also just in terms of a time aspect, in Destiny 1, you'd have to get an exotic and then level it up. And yeah. that would probably take probably two, three hours because you just wanted to get that one ability that it has. Mm -hmm. That's always the last one. That's gone. <laughs> that's gone now. You, you have it all from the start, which I love. I, I do like that. Um, and, and they kind of have some things in there for the people that li appreciated that grindiness. Where if you, like, let's say you get one at 230 and you want to level it up and you want to do, you could just take a new one. So there's still a little bit more of a grind to it just mm -hmm. to make sure that you get everything you want. Um, yeah, definitely. But as a newcomer, somebody that just can come into this game and just, you get your cinematic story, you get your, <laughs> get your yeah. loot right off the bat. I mm -hmm. think, uh, I think this is how it should have been. And the voiceover at the beginning does straight up say, "It is yes. your destiny." It is your destiny. <laughs> yeah, um, 
With that said, I, I love the game. I, I think it's still not what they originally anticipated it to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, when they first pitched Destiny, they were like, it's going to be this huge universe. Mm-hmm. And I think now they've embraced what Destiny is, and they've yeah. just gone and like capitalized on that. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on the game in general? How about yours, since you haven't finished it yet? What do you think so far? Well, I, it kind of takes me back to when the... You remember that E3 gameplay when they first talked about destiny and mm-hmm. on the playstation 4 they were actually it was for the yeah PlayStation i think 4. so and uh they were they were out in that courtyard at, mm-hmm. in the cosmodrome and you know like the big the ship came down and they dropped in and there was like a whole bunch of people like that's kind of happening now with these public yep. events yep. being marked and being timed down so like and uh you can rally the flag <laughs> <laughs> just the funniest thing that is Chris's we'll rally the f- out of that flag. The shit out of that flag. <laughs> that flag has been rallied the shit out of it. Absolutely. No, I agree. I think it because they when they showcased that game, it was it was such a social experience, but it was also it just. Oh, and actually, uh, last night actually, um, I got into my first ad hoc game of soccer. Yes. Out there in the field. I was just kicking the ball around right, and, and this guy just like slide tackles it away. I was like, oh, man, game on. Did you score a goal? Yeah. I, well, Did you get the little goal for I horn? got two into one net, and then the guy started attacking the same net as me. So I was like, well, now i got to play the other way. Isn't it great that you can waste time now playing soccer that doesn't even have a score? Great. Yeah, it's no, it does have a score. Does it have a score? Yeah, there's I a, think, I there's a scoreboard though. inside the net. It, no There's three way. segments, yeah, and they light up. Somebody so. had fun with that one. Dude, yeah. That is cool. <laughs> I, th- I think that was from everybody taking that ball from. Oh yeah. From the oh, first that was in the cor- yeah courtyard. Thing around. I used to always just run and slide that thing and <laughs> knock it off the level. <laughs> so, yeah. I love that shit. What do you what do you think, John? I mean, are you? Um, it's it's way better than the first one. Oh, um, miles better. Uh, I like because the, Destiny is what it is. Now. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, you know it was going to be this whole big thing. Uh, they've kind of got their bread and butter. They have. A social space for planets or moons or satellites and you just go to these places um i i do like that you don't have to level up items anymore God. i think that i think that was that's huge that was uh one of the worst parts because then you'd have to go and i mean after you got done with what your bounties no, <laughs> you had to make sure you had it equipped. Yeah, you had yeah. to make sure you had the bounties, and then you turn. You had to go back to turn them in. Um, <clears throat> just, just the whole the whole travel system is really good. Oh, the fast travel! Um, Golly, very impressed. Except with, for one thing, they don't give you a sparrow until you beat the game. That's yeah. What is their deal? Are they just trying to make the campaign longer or something? I think I think that's what it is. Running oh. simulator two thousand. Yeah, they saw how, <laughs> how popular running is in PUBG, so they're just like we're gonna make. Everybody have, run everywhere. Chris is over there trying to like unequip his weapons so he can run faster. Well, like, dude, press X, press X. But no, it doesn't work. So, but yeah. um, I, I'm impressed with it. Um, I don't know how to say it without spoiling it, but did you like the story? Hmm. Was it cinematic enough for you? It was cinematic. I, 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 I will say this. Well, cinematic, yes. The, the, the thing about the story in this game is if you're a newcomer, you're going to be like, you're going to be pleased with it because yeah, it's yeah. a story. And if you were wanting a story, you got your story. But since I'm a OG Destiny player, I'm not playing it for the story anymore. I, I know what the, it's kind of like you when you play Diablo. It's got a story there, but... You're just kind of playing it, you know? The first time, yeah. The first time I'm playing a game that's loot-based, I'm never playing no. it for the story. Because you're like, going to get the story elements. Well, that and yeah. I, the, that kind of... For a game like this that does have some grinding aspects to it still, um, that's replayability for me as I can go back and appreciate the story of the lore. Because mm-hmm. like when they had the grimoire cards and all that stuff, it just didn't... Yeah. There's a cool lore to the game oh, in, yeah. in terms of what you're fighting, and mm-hmm. I think that's the most exciting part about it. And they do a lot of fan service in the campaign, yeah, especially maybe. towards the end uh, after the cut, the credits and all that. If you stick around, you'll see a couple things pop up. Um, but it's just, it's not really necessary for me. It's not something I'm really excited about, I would say, yeah. one new thing, because I know I'm going to be playing it so much. Yeah. I just don't want to have to be sitting through all these story elements, and I hope they find a way, because I haven't seen like daily dailies yet i don't know if they're gonna do that yeah i hope they find a way to skip a lot of that stuff uh, but, but i will say the levels aren't like oh here's this cinematic moment here's this cinematic moment here's the cinematic moment it's still basic destiny yeah there, stuff. There, there were there were some levels that i was really impressed with and i enjoyed playing them 
Um, <clears throat> and there were some I was just kind of like, mm, these these are just okay. Well, the like, environments, but, my god. Yeah. Compared to the great. last game. Yeah. And they, they make are. you <laughs> made you appreciate. Remember the the early early on in the game whenever you're it's the walking simulator. That's what yeah. he called it. <laughs> walking <laughs> while hurt simulator 2017. Oh, that golly! Was, I'm like, okay. Can I just get to the bad. farm, please? That was bad. Um, but kind of like you said, once you've gone through the Destiny story, you don't really go back. It's all, you're just strikes. It's, it's a loot fest. Yeah. yeah. It's about having fun with your friends. Loot fest, getting up there, making memories. Oh, my God. I've already made a bunch. It's it's a good time. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. And uh, the emotes this time around. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They're pretty they're so emotes good. Are good. Have you seen the spicy ramen one yeah. yet? Oh, my goodness. Ugh. I love the game. I, I'm a big fan. Um, yeah, it's the music's great. Uh, the sound's great. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't think they'd do good uh, with not without having Marty O'Donnell, but they've done a really yeah. good job with that score. They're pretty good. Um, gameplay king. The uh, public events being marked on your map is huge. Don't have to pull up that yeah. app anymore. <laughs> yeah, the and the, website. And then you can. Uh, oh yeah, that terrible website. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then uh, there's there's the you know two different types of public events so. Yeah, heroic. Oh, yeah. I'm still trying to figure out all of them. I know a good good chunk of yeah. them, but um, so that's how you get you know some of your better better loot there. But uh, I will say, uh, in in Lauren, uh, she spoke yesterday. She said I did like ten heroic events, and the one that I didn't do, I got an exotic Ingram. Yeah, it's like it's y- all you have a chance of getting doubles uh, yeah, you're on your RNG yeah. dog. Yeah, um, RNG Jesus. <laughs> which I got an exotic <laughs> earlier on yeah. uh, heroic. So I think that's a, a way that they can continue to add to the game too. Is different kinds of, of events like that so I mean we've seen the same what is it four there's a taken one there's a there yeah there was the two DLCs like the taken king and then or eight no, 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 no! I'm just talking about the actual events that are going on. Like, oh, in the, in the, in the map. Well, anyway, so point so, being, so, oh, they have, every they Earth have, has a, a map. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. Every uh, planet, around so. the, uh, Earth has the most. Yeah. Um, the EDZ Titan has like two, I think, and they, I mean, they all have some. Anyway, well, point being, I think that's the way they can continue to add to the game. Oh yeah, easily. And I'll say this: it's it's not like you're wasting your time doing them either, because we did that for an hour earlier, and I I walked away with. Four legendary uh, unlocks and then two Ingrams and that were legendary and an exotic yeah. Ingram. So, not that that's going to happen every time, but you're working for those unlocks when right. you're doing and, those. And that's you know kind of kind of what they were saying with their um, <clears throat> Destiny One took up so much time, like doing something meaningful. Mm-hmm. If you played for four hours, you might not have got anything meaningful. Yep. But this game, you know, Destiny Two, if you're if you're playing, you know, for four hours, you're you're probably gonna get something, mm-hmm. you know, something meaningful, just yeah. because of the drops. Just like this uh, guy, he's got a gauntlet collection. Now. Yeah, he's got four, <laughs> four gauntlets. But um, I'm sitting on them. I'll be, I'll be, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I know, uh, I don't know if y'all knew at the time, but uh, when uh, I don't, I forgot which one it was. I, th- I think it was Dark Below. Dark Below had. There was one kind of bringing back the the daily missions. Mm-hmm. There was one daily mission you could get into, and it only came around a certain number of times. But you could get that oh, ex- exotic sp- uh, black about. spindle. It was like a little secret yeah. secret mission. Yeah. So I'm I'm wondering if they're gonna. There's a lot of interesting stuff in the game. Um, you start collecting stuff that's gonna be geared towards this raid that's coming up this week. Um, even Danny's talking about. It. I'm like, hey, what is this that they just threw at me? He's like, I have a feeling we'll know more when the raid launches. So I have a couple things that I don't know what they are, and yeah. I've tried to look and them just up. Sitting there, and they're... nobody knows yet. And nobody knows where Zer's gonna be either. He can be anywhere. He's no longer at the social space. He's just in one of. The... He's in like the Earth Titan. Nessus. Oh, oh really? you mean Fuzzy Face. Yeah, Fuzzy Face. Get your shards ready because he's coming mm. next Friday. With Gallahorn. Oh, yeah, Gallahorn week one. <laughs> Gallahorn two. More Yee! more, more galley. <laughs> more galley shells. What what, so what what story mission are you at right now? Do you know? He's uh, about to do... Uh, the, the one right before you hit the 15s. So I just... Yeah, I don't want to spoil don't even, what's yeah, going on. I can't on. really say what no. I just did. Okay. He unlocked yeah. strikes. Yeah. If that helps you. Does that help? When you unlock strikes, he's towards the end game right now. Okay, gotcha. Everybody's all in this together. Gotcha. At that point. (laughs) Gotcha. I don't know. (laughs) So, he's probably got about four or five more. Yeah. And he's there. But the last mission is like three missions in one. Yeah. So, even like Danny was just like, nah, you got two more. And I'm like, 
are you sure? And he's like, oh, never mind. It's over. Get ready. And I'm like, okay, here we go. And boy, when you finish that game, that game is good to you. Did you notice that? Did you yep. talk to everybody? Oh, you mean yep. it's not just their yellow rifle? That uh, No, mystery? it's they, Ooh, they, no. they heard all the complaints from the last game. <laughs> it was so bad. And they said, okay, we're going to set you up. And I kept that's why I kept tell, trying to tell Alan and Landon yesterday. And Landon, listen, Alan never does. Sorry, Alan. Um, I was like, dude, you have to finish this campaign. Listen to Danny, who's been telling us the whole time. Mm-hmm. It is not. I don't care if you're at 20 before you finish the campaign. It's not going to help you one bit. Yeah. Finish the campaign and then move on to all these little public events that you're doing. Because that's when it matters. So. Because, yeah. When, once, once you hit 20, uh, it opens up... Uh, Things opens up different things. So many <laughs> things, things and stuff. that we love. Uh, overall, I'm super happy with the game. Let's do a rating here. Uh, over here, we do an A through an F scale with the pluses and minus in there. Just uh, do we do? <laughs> yeah, we do. We've actually been doing this recently. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's actually kind of established. Word. Are you at a point yet? You want to rate it yet, or no, uh, Chris? No, so, I don't okay. think it would be gonna, fair. So he's going to bow out seven hours into this thing. Um, What's your conditional score? How about that? 20 out of 10 IGN, best game 20 out of 10, perfect, there it is, you heard Uh, it right here Go (laughs) pre-order Pre-order the, pre-order Destiny 3 Right now, do it it Mine is sitting And I'm going to be safe here Because this game could burn me Mine's sitting on a B plus With a a strong A If if the game comes through for me here In the next couple months I know it's going to be all I play so I could either come out the other side super happy with my experience or super pissed off like the last go around. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with a B plus for now because I put I put a good amount of time into it and I think it's enough to know what I'm getting into. And I do need to see the raid and stuff still, mm-hmm. but those are all just kind of secondary stories and expansions anyway. So I'm gonna stick with a B plus for now. Might change. I'll update you later on. What about you, John? That's pretty much where I'm at. Okay. Um, like you said, I want to see, uh, you know, parts of the raid, uh, and then we'll, you know what else, what else we can do. Um, These monthly events, the flashpoints, yeah. uh, because you know, just just kind of seeing what what else is out there. Don't want to rate it too high because uh, I don't know what it's going to be like in three months. Uh, it's we'll, miles we'll, over destiny. We'll have an now. expansion by then. Miles. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's definitely an improvement. Um, I like where the game's going. Uh, just, I don't know. Contacting Destiny 2, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick before we stop uh, talking about it, what do we think about these weapons? I, uh, we we kind of touched on it before the podcast started, but Scott, Scott Rifles, are you a fan of them now? I hated them the first game. I think I like them this time around. Oh, I always like Scott Rifles. Oh, did you? I think I like Pulse a little bit more, too. Uh, I haven't got a good hand cannon yet, which is very mm-hmm. sad. I, I'm hoping I find a bad juju replacement too. Man, bad juju was that good. Oh, dude. Uh, I'm, especially uh, in that raid, the second raid quota. Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of the. Uh, I like the addition of the grenade launchers. Um, oh, they're cool. I like the grenade launchers. Some machine guns are pretty cool too. They are pretty good. I really like the sidearms. If Do you, you? If you if you can get a quick sidearm, that's you like a find triple burst. Right one. The Those triple are bursts are better than the automatic ones. I don't like the automatic ones because yeah. I had one I was rolling with just now and I hated it. So I'm glad I switched over. I just got unlocked. What is it? The fighting lion that replaced my oh, sidearm. Yeah. And I actually kind of like the the distinction between the fusion rifles now. The, the yeah, linear, the, the linear the is really cool. Yeah. It's like a sniper rifle. Yeah. Um, like a beam rifle from Halo. Big yeah. fan of that one that I just unlocked. Yeah. Um, I'm happy with the weapons. They're they're doing it this time. There's, they're bringing it. Well, didn't they collaborate with the Diablo people? I think they always have. I mean, oh, have they always? Yeah, yeah. even the first well, one. I, I, you know, right? I mean, you kind of have to. If In a you game got like that. this where it's loot based, you gotta mm-hmm. you gotta vary it up. You know, they got a weapon team over there having a good old time. Oh yeah, some of those weapons look awesome. Oh dude, e- even the even the non exotics are cool. Oh dude, I had a couple non exotics that look better than the other, and they got silencers on them now. Mm-hmm. Come on, baby. Love this game. There's, there's, there's you had a vector, actually... one that looked yeah, like a vector <laughs> yesterday. Like a vector, yeah. So I'm excited. I love the game. Gotta go play it. Yep. 45 ACP. Yes. It's probably um, the best game you can play on console right now. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, especially if you're looking for a social experience. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, there's oh, other man, great platoons. <laughs> That's true. Shoot that, shoot shoot that Nat, squid ink. Nat came out. Oh damn it! Nat I saw that in stores. Too. It's only forty bucks too. Mm-hmm. It's a budget type. They're reason. like, Destiny 2 is out. Donkey's video is already out, and it's, in his words, a masterpiece. Oh. <laughs> what did you think of Destiny 2? Put that down in the comments below. Uh, what did you rate it, Danny? I'm expecting your rating now. A plus, 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. IGN, best game ever. 
Yes. Anyways, moving on to the next topic, which is 